Hi everybody, I'm Stephen Ames. Welcome to Spatula Dad. Here with my friend Luca De La Casa. And we have just come from the downtown Austin, Texas farmer's market. Met a lot of really interesting people. Got some great stuff. Some farm fresh eggs, some vegetables. I like to buy products from the farmer's market because most of it is local. <laughs> Another good reason, uh, when, when you buy at the market, you find seasonal product. Uh, so that add an add to the, to the dish that we're making. On the other side, most of the time, um, they are organic product. And uh, what we got this morning at the market is some beautiful veal scallopini, some red onion, some zucchini, some fresh sage, and uh, some fresh eggs. So Milanese and Carbioni. Did I say that right? No. Oh. How is it, what is it again? Well, it's Milanese and Carpione. Okay, all right, this sounds awesome. So let's get started. All right, now we're at a stage where we can have people in the kitchen help us out. So we're gonna have these folks help us out. Luca, tell us what to do, okay? Very good, very easy process. Yep. We're gonna take some meat and season it on this cutting board. Then we're gonna put it on our egg wash. And after that, it's gonna go on the bread crumb. Once it's crumbed up, we're gonna put it on this plate here. All right, this is the last stage. We're finally uh, finished prepping here, so now we need to go and cook it, right? That's correct. We're gonna pan fry the meat mm -hmm. and start the pickle juice. All right, now we're at the cooking stage right. of our incredible dish. It's got two components to it. So That's you gotta true, tell Steve. me what to do. That's two. We're gonna start uh, pan uh, frying uh, the steak that, yep. we just, uh, that we just read it. And on that side, you're gonna start in the pickle juice. Okay, so the pickle uh, juice. So we're gonna fry the veal, and then we're gonna put this pickling juice on it, and it's this wonderful, typical Italian. Very good, Milanese and Carpione. That I can't pronounce. Right. All right, cool. All right, so here we're frying our veal milanese. We have this oil pan set it up to uh, middle flame. It's particularly important because uh, if the heat would be too high, the breadcrumb will start to burn and we will get a very dark spot. So while I'm starting this, you want to measure some sugar. Okay, we'll we've got a third of a cup. I'm just going to put it in here like that. Very good. And then we're gonna measure like a cup of uh, red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar, pour it all in there. So we're gonna add that to the sugar, uh, put some sage in it, and bring everything to a boil. Okay. After we're gonna have uh, this liquid boiling, uh, we're gonna turn it off and add the red onion. Okay, so I normally would have put the onion in while it was boiling. Right. <laughs> but you're saying to wait until the water is cooling down. Right. So it doesn't, it it doesn't cook it completely. It doesn't cook the onion to, uh, that's a really good tip. Really good tip. All right, Lucas, so we have our veal all done, fried up, looks incredible. So we're gonna slice it or cut it or how? That's we correct, make? we're, we're gonna okay. slice it. The, the veal is finally uh, cooled off and the pickle juice is, is finally cold. So we can put the two together. So we're gonna add all our meat in the pickle juice and we're gonna make sure to stir around. And the veal's in there and we let it sit for how long? Well, uh, the longer the better, okay. at least 12 hours refrigerator. So we can go ahead and cover these and let it rest in our cooler. Awesome, looks fantastic. Very good. Can't wait to try it. All right, everybody, we have now come to the conclusion. We've got this all finished. It's been pickling for the last 12 to 18 hours. And Lucas put some vegetables on the bottom of it, right? What did you yeah, that's correct. Right. We grilled some uh, zucchini and we roasted uh, some uh, red beets. So you guys ready to try it? All right, let's try it. Let's check it out. This looks really fantastic. Mm. Very good. That's awesome, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, been a Appreciate pleasure. It. All right, check out spatchadad.com for the full recipe and more information, a lot more videos. Thanks a lot.